What's up guys, welcome to Visualization. Nestor Adrian Sen here again. Today I'm going to show you how to create virtual tables in DAX. As always, before we get started, if this is the first time that you stop by this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications on my new Power BI tutorials. So now, are you ready? Let's do this. For today's tutorial, I have four different points. Point number one, we're going to learn about virtual tables. Point number two, what are the uses of virtual tables? Point number three, how to display the results of virtual tables. And finally, guys, as always, I have here a really, really nice practical case. So now let's move on to the next slide. So if you have been playing with DAX for a while, you might have used virtual tables in your calculations. But what are virtual tables? Here we have three different points that will help us understand virtual tables. The first point here, virtual tables are in memory tables that we build using specific DAX functions or constructors. They are not physically stored in the model. This is really, really important. They are not physically stored in the model. Second point here, the data in a virtual table is either derived from the data within the data model or the data that we construct for specific purposes. Third point here, we can use all DAX functions that return a table value to create virtual tables. So the most common DAX functions to create virtual tables are add columns, select columns, all, all selected, calendar, calculate table, filters, etc. So now guys, that you have more knowledge about virtual tables, let's move on to the next point. So now let's learn about the uses of virtual tables. Here we have two main uses. We can use virtual tables in calculated tables, like the one that you're seeing right here. For this particular case, we are using this function called calculate table. You guys might be familiar with this. If not, I'm going to share with you a link as well so you can take a look at it, okay? So basically, as you guys can see here, this function, the calculate table, has a table expression here as part of the components, right, of this syntax. This one right here, the table expression, this is a virtual table. See? Like I said, you might have been using virtual tables and you didn't realize, but now you know that you have been using virtual tables. So the second use here, and this is one of my favorite uses, is that we usually use virtual tables in measures. And this is a syntax as well. I'm using as a reference the calculate function. Again, if you're not familiar with this function, I'm going to share with you a link here because I have a tutorial about this powerful function and DAX. So basically, this function, the calculate function, has an expression here. And then we can use the complete syntax for filters, for calculate. And for this particular case, this is a table filter. And that's why we are using the filter function here. As you guys can see, right here, this dash rectangle, this is also a virtual table. See? This is how it works, my friends. So what do you think? So now, guys, let's move on to the next point. So now let's solve one of the questions that you might have how to display the results of virtual tables. Remember here, it's key to see the results of a virtual table rather than only internalizing the results in our minds. That's why here we have two different ways to display the results of virtual tables. The first one right here, we can create a calculated table in Power BI Desktop. This is quite straightforward. Basically, we go to Power BI Desktop, 
hit modeling and then select the new table option. After that, we can place the code and then bingo, the results will be there. The second way to do this is by using DAX Studio. Remember, DAX Studio is a free source and you can go basically to this website and download the latest version of this awesome tool. Remember, with this tool, you can easily see the results of your virtual tables. And then in order to make this work, the first thing that you need to do is copy the evaluate statement, then copy and paste the virtual table part of the calculation, and then hit run, and then the results will be there. Quite straightforward. So if you haven't installed this tool yet, it's highly recommended, stop the video and do it because we're gonna have a case there. We're gonna be using DAX Studio. So now guys, let's move on to the next point. All right, are you guys ready? It's time to put everything into practice. Practical case. Three questions here. The first question is, create a virtual table within a calculated table. And here we have more directions. Use the calculated table function to create a calculated table. Use the select columns function to build a virtual table. The calculated table should have country discount band, manufacturing price and profit. Also, there is a filter here. We only care about none for discount band. Second question, create a virtual table within a measure. Use the calculated function. The measure should provide profit amount for a manufacturing price equal to or greater than 120, and that's a filter as well. And finally, use DAX Studio to display any virtual table. Are you ready to solve these questions? Let's go to Power BI Desktop. So this is Power BI Desktop. I'm gonna share with you this file as well, so you can follow along, okay? So real quick, we have two tables here, the financials table. You might be familiar with this table. This is the table that Power BI provides just for free. And then here we have also another table to store our measures. For this particular case, we already have a measure, which is total profit. So let's solve the first question. If you guys remember, the first question was to create a virtual table within a calculated table. And we have there some directions as well. We care about four columns, country, discount band, manufacturing price, and profit. And there is also a filter. We only care about none for discount band. So let's do that. The first thing that we wanna do is hit modeling and then new table, because we are creating a calculated table. Remember that? Let's expand this real quick. And let's call this table discount band none. How about that? So we're gonna use the function called calculate table. Remember that? Let's do that. Let's zoom in real quick so we can visualize this better, okay? So let's keep going here. Remember here, the first part of the calculate table is the expression table expression. So we're going to use here select columns. So we're going to be referencing here financials because that's the table that we have in our model. And then if you're not familiar with select columns, this function basically is selecting specific columns from a specific table. The table that we are selecting columns from is the financials table. We're going to be selecting four different columns. The first column is gonna be called country, quotation mark here, okay? And then here, this is the country column from the financial table. Same thing here for discount band, let's do that, quotation mark, discount band here. There you go. So the other column is manufacturing price. So let's do that. Quotation marks here because this is the name of the column. 
and we're going to be referencing here manufacturing price remember that comma here and then the last column is profit same story here we care about profit okay from the financial stable all right so let's close parentheses and we are closing parentheses for the table expression so now comma here and if you guys remember there was a filter the filter was that for discount band we should be selecting just none let's do that there you go because this is text quotation marks and now close parentheses and let's see what happens all right it's loading boom there you go my friends check this out so we have this new table called discount then none see right there there it is so so what's going on here the virtual table is this one right here this is the virtual table my friends that we are creating right and then here we have the filter that belongs to the calculate table function so let's create a visual real quick just to see how this is working let's do that so let's create right here a table real quick and we're going to be selecting this new table course discount band manufacturing price and then profit there you go what do you think that's how it works my friends so what's going on here so for profit here this is sum but let's hit done summarize for now to see how it works boom and then for manufacturing price don't summarize so we can see this better uh-huh so this is the new table that we just created and we use a virtual table embedded in the calculate table function what do you think do you find this helpful this is helpful so now guys let's solve the next question and let's go back to our presentation so if you guys remember the next question was create a virtual table within a measure we're going to be using the calculate function and also there is a filter here the manufacturing price should be equal to or greater than 120 so let's do that so now let's create a measure right click new measure we're going to name this measure as profit manufacturing price okay how about that and then shift enter and then let's add a comment here because this is manufacturing price equal to or greater than 120 all right so the function that we're going to be using here is calculate this is this powerful function called calculate here and then the expression because we care about profit we need to add profit okay all right close parentheses here and then hit enter we're going to be using here the complete filtered expression for calculate if you guys remember this is filter we need to use the filter function here okay we need to reference the financial stable here again if you are not familiar with filter i also have a tutorial about this function i'm going to place the link here so you can take a look at it okay so now the manufacturing price here should be equal to or greater than 120 because this is number we don't have to add quotation marks shift enter here plus parentheses and we are done with the filter function shift enter close parentheses we are done with the calculated function there you guys have it let's hit enter and see what's going on here all right it seems like it's working 
let's create a cart real quick. Ah, uh, there you go. Here it is. And then we're going to be selecting the measure that we just created. The total profit for all products which manufacturing price is equal to or greater than 120 is about eight million dollars that's what we have here so let's keep creating another visual here a table there you go and let's add from the financial stable country and then discount band and then also let's drag the new measure there you go see that's how it works my friends what do you think very very helpful right perfect so now you can see how useful the virtual tables are in dax now guys we are ready to solve the last question if you remember the last question was to use dax studio to visualize a virtual table all right so what we're going to do next is the following so let's go to external tools here so i'm assuming that you already install dax studio so if you did it there is an option here called dax studio let's hit that option it's loading so this is dax studio let's go back to Pyria desktop so let's use this virtual table okay remember here we created this Kanban none remember that so this is a calculated table and there is a virtual table here remember this is the virtual table and let's copy this right here control c and guess what we're going to be using dax studio control v there you go so if we want to make this work we need to use here evaluate hit enter and now guess what let's hit run mm -hmm. there you go see right here these are the results my friends so we are basically using the financial stable and we are selecting these four columns just from the financial stable we have country here right country is right there discount band is right there manufacturing price is right there and profit is also there the total number of rows is the same 700 rows and this is the same number of rows that this table has so what's happening here is that select columns function is basically grabbing these four columns from the financial table without any type of uh, summarization there you have it my friends and now guys let's go back to our presentation and see what else we have there that was it guys now you are ready to kill it so virtual tables is a really really powerful concept in dax and i hope you found this tutorial helpful if so as always please give me a thumbs up share with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe if you don't wanna miss anything Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.